Has James Harden been seemingly fooling us at every turn of his career? Has his pure selfishness finally gotten exposed? Russell Westbrook, Dwight Howard, Kyrie Irving. James Harden played with all three of those players throughout his long Hall of Fame career, and in each of those situations, it was James Harden who was viewed as the victim of his teammates' bad play. It is only recently that this new narrative has emerged that Harden might be the star talent who is, or possibly even was, too selfish to be a true winner at the highest level. And that at this point in time, Harden's laziness and horrible defense might be making his teams worse despite his incredible offense. This is not a rapid reaction. Instead, today our goal is to figure out how the snakes finally popped out of the grass. Was James Harden this selfish for his entire career or are we blowing things out of proportion with an early season take? So what's up, Mike here. And recently, James Harden's career has been closer to the that of a WWE wrestlers than an NBA players. And what I mean by that is the man went to China and called Daryl Morey a liar during a marketing tour for Adidas. Back in October of 2019, Daryl Morey tweeted out, fight for freedom, stand for Hong Kong, a move that caused Chinese companies to pull sponsorships from the Rockets and China even stopped airing Rockets games as the controversy was settled. So for James Harden to go to China, not Philadelphia, and then make those comments about Daryl Morey was of course a calculated move. A move that a franchise type player, a leader, should certainly not make. The thing is, James Harden was willing to do whatever he could to get what he wanted. And really, this may have been the move where he exposed that he has been playing us all in this way for a very long time. Because when we look back at the narrative of James Harden's career, it's almost like we've wiped away the fact that he used to flop for three point calls all the time. We forget given him for that, but it hasn't been enough. Because if we dig further, we also find a lot of fall guys throughout James Harden's career. A lot of players who, for whatever reason, were blamed instead of James Harden for a team's downfall. Now, as the leader of a team, the ultimate thing you can do is take the loss on yourself. In his career as a Houston Rocket, James Harden shot 42% from the field and averaged 4.4 turnovers a game. During that same time, Dwight Howard was seen as a soft center who was not enough. Chris Paul Paul was seen as washed up. Same with Russell Westbrook. And then when James Harden went over to the Brooklyn Nets, it was Kyrie Irving who got all of the blame, despite the fact that in 2021, Kyrie was an all-star who played 54 games to James Harden's 36. The scapegoats have only piled up. And I think that's a real shame because at one point in time with the Thunder, James Harden was more than willing to come off the bench for the team and win. The stories back in that time were actually that James Harden was hesitant to become a star starter, he was more than comfortable with his role. However, not everyone treats superstardom well. I don't want to ever tell a man how to spend his money, so I'll just say if I'm looking for a leader to lead a franchise, I'm also not looking for a news headline that that same leader is getting his jersey retired in a strip club. LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Steph Curry have shown us all this generation that if you put your head down and just keep working, you will succeed. To get your jersey retired has to mean you spent a bit of time there instead of practicing or at least focusing on basketball. The thing is though, we've heard the famous stories about Michael Jordan. We've heard that he was gambling and still got the job done. The problem with James Harden is that the difference being that Michael Jordan was always willing to take the accountability for that loss, while James Harden has always looked to pass that accountability away. There comes a point in every player's career, no matter how talented they are, where they have to decide, am I going to die on this hill? I'm losing, but am I going to continue to play the same way? Or where they say, hey, obviously something is not working. I need to change something up. Michael Jordan did not make the playoffs until his fourth season. Steph Curry was not named to the all-star team until his fifth season, and LeBron did not win a championship until his eighth season. When the true greats reach that kind of barrier, they take it upon themselves to push through. In the 2018 playoffs, in seven games against the Golden State Warriors, James Harden would average 28.7 points per game. He also would shoot just 41.5% from the field, only 24.4% from three, and he averaged 4.9 turnovers to six assists. This was not a tremendous superstar performance. Harden certainly left something on the table here in a seven game loss, but after losing this series, James Harden could not take any, any of the accountability. He needed Chris Paul traded that very 
instant. Chris Paul would be named to the All-Star team the very next three seasons. Harden demanded that Chris Paul be traded for Russell Westbrook, or he, James Harden himself, would demand a trade. The Rockets obliged with this request. They gave in, they traded for Russell Westbrook, and then together, Russ and James Harden were a disaster, but somehow despite real accusations that he was wearing a fat suit, or how about the fact that he didn't show up to training camp and went to Lil Baby's party instead, somehow despite these things, James Harden was able to tank his trade value and then demand a trade to the Brooklyn Nets, where he was the first one to demand a trade, he was the one that broke up the Brooklyn Nets big three. We have to remember that Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, both of them bet on James Harden to be that Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett big three that wins a title at the end of their careers. James Harden was the one that left them. However, we should have expected this. I will say at this point, it feels like James Harden must be a media ringmaster. All of the hate went to Kyrie Irving. It was seen as if James Harden's talents were being wasted on the Nets and he was able to reunite with Daryl Morey. And then we have wildly almost no time passing and that same man, James Harden, calling Daryl Morey a liar and demanding a trade out of Philly. Lately, I don't think any of us would agree that James Harden's behavior has been great. But the real question is, are the snakes beginning to pop out? And the answer is yes. As James Harden's biggest secret is that he has been terrible in the playoffs. I'll say terrible. In his first two playoff runs as the star of the Rockets in 2013 and 2014, Harden averaged a combined 26.6 points per game on under 39% shooting with four turnovers per game to 5.2 assists. Houston lost both of those series in six games. The greatest players to ever live, they learn from these tough series and they come back with new found fire. So let's jump to game six of the 2015 Western Conference Finals, where James Harden completely no-showed and gave up on his team. And then in this game, facing elimination, his bench would completely bail him out. The 2015 Rockets would actually bench James Harden. He played zero minutes in the fourth quarter as Josh Smith and Corey Brewer led a remarkable comeback over Chris Paul and Blake Griffin and the Lob City Clippers. The Rockets would end up winning this playoff series in game seven as Harden Harden led them with a 7 for 20 shooting performance. Then after the Rockets were eliminated that season, Harden pushed management to fire head coach Kevin McHale and tried to get the team to trade Dwight Howard. That was according to CBS Sports and Harden would get his wish. Both McHale and Dwight Howard would leave the team. This eventually leads us to the 2018 Western Conference Finals where after a seven game close loss to the Warriors, Harden demanded Chris Paul be traded for Russell Westbrook. He stated he would demand his own trade if he didn't get his wish. He knew he was the star. He knew he could get away with this type of demand. So what should we take from all of this? Well, again, James Harden is certainly one of the most talented and on the stat sheet, best performing shooting guards of all time. He's won an MVP. He was first team all NBA from 2014 all the way to 2020. That means he is without a doubt, one of the greatest guards of this generation. However, all of James Harden's recent actions have just been shady. Shady feels like the right word. It feels like lately, every situation he has been a part of has been happy to see him go. So while I would love to see a Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard renaissance. I do have to say at this point in time, I'm just not believing in it because of James Harden. I do not think this is going to end up a good trade. I want to know what you guys think down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're already subscribed, you're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.